pterodactyl here, and I know a lot of y'all been after me for a long time to, Carol, you need a lift, you need to get a lift, you shouldn't be working off the floor, you need a lift. So here it is, I finally got me a lift. Got this from my brother, Farrell. He had six of these and he gave me one and I did a couple of modifications to it to make it better. No, this isn't the lift. This is my lift, but this isn't the lift I made. Here's the lift I made. Check it out. It's like a little mini my Jack travel lift. If you know what one of them is, if you don't, Google it. My Jack travel lift. The rolling gantry crane. That I made out of some square tubing and some casters from zero turn mowers. Those are from a scrub cadet, the ones on the back. And the ones on the front are trailing wheels from a grasshopper. I built this thing for about a hundred bucks. All stuff I had laying around the shop. The only thing I had to buy was some square tubing and that Harbor Freight winch, 2,500 pound winch I got up there, which is remote control. Isn't that nice? It's got a little remote that I got hanging here. No cord. And it's easy to push. I've even got a steering handle on it. Here's a handle I made. Put this bolt in there so you can push or pull it. You can steer it. One man can push and pull this thing and steer it. And it steers because that other wheel will follow this one. Isn't that nifty? And then I got a hook mounted here for all my different slings and shackles that I'll use to lift whatever mower I'm working on. And I've got this ratchet strap here, which is like a safety. And it's on the other side of the bracket that I got straddling the I-beam. So once you pick the lawnmower up, you can hook this ratchet strap to the mower and put tension on it if you don't trust this winch. It's like a safety. And it's 12 volt. So what you do is, normally when we stand the tractor up in our other videos, we have to take the battery out so the acid don't leak out. So you take the battery out and stick it in the battery box which is off a junk lawn tractor. And then I had these old cable clamps from an old jumper box I had. You just hook it to the battery, grab your little remote, hold the button on for a few seconds till the blue light comes on. And there you go. This thing will be great for picking up zero turns, lawn tractors, pulling engines now. get under there without laying on the ground like a like an animal. Put my little safety on here. Just to help hold it. Put some stands under there too. Now I can get right under there and work. Nice and easy. And then we can roll this thing outside. In case we have to strip some old junk tractors out there, you just roll it out there, roll the tractor underneath it, stand it up. Sharpen the blades. This thing's really gonna come in handy. I've been meaning to build this for a few years. I just haven't gotten around to it, so I got around to it this winter. I'm a 
pull this here engine out. There you go. Engine puller too. So I got my nylon sling hooked to the front axle of this tractor. Now if you're worried about damaging the hood, what's nice about these modern tractors is you can just unhinge them off. But this nylon sling, you know, isn't going to damage anything. So let's lift up this one. Look at that. This is nice for changing blades and changing those belts underneath there now. Now we ain't got to lay underneath there. Next point. Another nice thing about having it on the wheels is when you raise it up and down and lower it, it the, the lift kind of follows along with it. That's kind of nice too. Now there's something else I want to show you. I've been making these things too. You might be interested in this. I've been making these little barns. Aren't these little barns cool? Yeah! <laughs> you know what this is for? This is for covering that winch. And when I started making it, it started to look like a barn. So I thought, I'm gonna make it look like a barn. Cause when this thing's outside, I don't want that winch getting ruined by the winter and the rain and the snow. Plus it's got that little plastic control box on there, which controls the, uh, the remote lift of it. And I'm afraid the sun is probably gonna damage that box because it's probably made out of some crappy plastic. So I'm gonna mount this over the top to kind of just keep the sun off of that box because that, that box is pretty weatherproof. But this is for the winch. Well, I got my little Green Acres Weather Shield barn mounted and my other little shield to protect that box. And it easily comes off by just taking that piece of wire loose up there. And you can take that cover off if you have to access the, the winch. So that's all there is to my homemade gantry crane or travel lift or whatever you want to call it, mower lift, custom mower lift. Oh, slipper. Hey, what do you want? Is this that lift you were talking about? Yeah, this is my new lift that I built. It's gonna make things a lot easier for us to change belts and blades and lift engines out. Oh, I thought you was building a table lift. No, no, but I am gonna build a table lift. And I got some plants cooking in this brain here. I'm gonna build me the ultimate table lift. Wait till you see that. Oh, well, not too bad for just throwing it together, I guess. Throwing it together? I'd like to see you build some slippers. You don't build nothing. You know what? I'm just getting ready to get out of here, so we're gonna leave. But since you like hanging out here so much, Maybe you could just hang out here all night. Uh. Oh, oh, oh.